Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here today coming to you from the Disgruntled Mechanic Garage. What I have today is a tip on a app that you can use that you can actually use in automotive diagnostics. Now technicians and mechanics are always looking for a way to be able to get an edge when it comes to diagnosing uh, fixing a car. Well, I found an app that I think fits the bill. It's actually made for other things, and I haven't personally seen it used this way, but I thought, you know, this is, this is rather unique in a way. So I'll show you the app, and then we're going to go and show you the uses. I'll show you how I use the app, and then we'll continue. So here's the app. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll put a link to it in the Play Store. Um, if you have Apple device, then you're sort of on your own. I do stuff with Android. But it's called Alford Security Camera. Now you can use it for that, and you can use it for, um, you know, many uses. But I'm going to show you what I found and I thought was pretty neat. Now I'm just going to give you a rundown of something simple here but the whole point of this video and showing you this app is to give its capabilities of what it can do and setting it up but I'm sure that many inventive folk will find other ways to use this than what I mentioned you know of course mine has update on here but the first thing you want to do is you want to go and download this app to your main phone that you usually have with you. After you download the app to your main phone, then what you want to do is you want to download it to another device. Now most shops today have Wi-Fi or you know you have a tablet um, with cell reception on it however. But what I did was I took an old Samsung phone that I had that outlived its usefulness. What I did was I set this up as my camera itself for actually taking picture or the video uh, and I hooked it up to my Wi-Fi that I have in the garage. Now what I had normally have is I have this plugged in constantly and I have it setting on an old camera stand that no longer works properly. Um, and as I said, I have it plugged in so that it's on a continuous charge. Now the neat thing is, when you go to the app on your phone, you mate your phone to this phone or whatever you're using as the camera. And then you can see what's happening, which I think is pretty cool. You can also view this camera on a laptop. So we'll get into some of that and I'll show you some of that and setting it up and what you do. But um, let, let me go and set this up and I will show you the one use that I have for it that I thought of that's just I think pretty neat. So what I've done now is I've actually brought my camera, my phone, taking the picture out here. I've hooked up underneath the car hood to the battery and just for simplicity of showing something I actually got my tester on the battery here. Well the nice thing about this is if you want to be in the car or somewhere else and you want to monitor that like say while when you start the car or whatever to see if that voltage drops I mean I know there's other ways to do it but you can do that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into my viewing on my phone Alfred camera app and this is what it does we go here and then you can click on live I got an old version on 
my viewing or on my camera phone that takes the picture but you can actually see this from wherever you're at by carrying your phone or laptop or whatever now you probably can't see that but even on the phone I can enhance that and it shows my voltage so I can carry this phone with me when I go inside to start it and be watching this when I turn the key and I can see what the voltage drop is so now what I've done here is I got my laptop out we come to the same picture and we're gonna have, we're gonna have the same, same thing on the laptop And as you can hear, there's even audio with it, which is pretty cool. So that's using your laptop. And another thing to keep in mind is a lot of these new scan tools or tablet scan tools that's run on Android, you can actually put apps on. If it's one that you can put apps on while you're scanning in your car, you can open up this Alfred camera app and you can watch both. You know, you got to go back and forth, but you could do that relatively quickly. And there are so many other uses for this, non-automotive as well as automotive. I mean, one of the things I thought of is in uh, Pennsylvania, with the Pennsylvania State Inspection, you know, you have to look at the brake lights and things like that, turn signals in the back, and usually you have to have another person. You set this up, you're good to go. And as I said, with an extra device that you have laying around, you know, you can make a camera. So, to me, it's well worth doing. Um, you can find all kinds of uses for this thing. So, just remember, Alfred Camera App, very easy to use, could be very helpful in many things you do. So this is Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic saying, just remember, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, you dirty, rotten bull, bull, how could you break off? You dirty, rotten mother, oh, dirty, rotten, how dare you break, oh, I can't believe it broke off, not again. Again, oh man alive! Son of a! Oh, I can't believe it broke off. Jesus! No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic.